now ICT to me as a neurosurgery student was intracranial tension. ICT now to me means information and communication technology. Look at the overlap of all this. I used to laugh, ridicule, make fun of people who are playing video games. I mean, even my children are too old now to play video games. But my grandchildren obviously are addicted to video games and are experts in video games. I used to make fun of them. Today, not realizing that the gamification industry is taking over, I won't say taking over, is playing a very important part in the industry. And you can see this is called, you can see the overlapping everything. Health IT, telehealth, interoperability, in isolation. You cannot, uh, yesterday I was in, it's fascinating. IIT Karakpur, it's hospital in three months from now. The first students are going to be admitted into IIT Karakpur 15 years ago. I was in Madras and another the message I'm trying to get across. Message I'm trying you cannot have an engineering in a medical college 20 kilometers away. They cannot diverge. They have to converge. We have now started a course called Clinical Engineering, a five-year course which is different from Biomedical Engineering. Without technology, you can, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Business models, home visits. We did first e-home visits. When, just after I finished my house surgery, a few occasional home visits to somebody who had a fit, etc. But about eight years ago, we did about 95 electronic home visits. In fact, we got the best poster award in an international conference in Washington for this. Unfortunately, I didn't publish it. So this is the modern consulting room. And I'm sure you. So look at that. A geneticist start with your medical board. Tumor board, the tumor board at the moment, an oncologist, a medical surgical oncologist. Very soon it will con consist of an of a organ spe specialist. A hepatoma, the liver, will have a ga medical gastroenterologist. From the tumor board, you will have a bioinformatician with Watson and other pieces of data. He informatician will be able to retrieve either 69 year old male, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Almost this is what happened, this is what happened, and therefore, this is the current modern literature. So this is how it is going. Collaborative. You will be able to retrieve data in every way. I'm just going to show you a few slides. These are some of my favorite slides. I'm, I'm, I'm sure none of you have seen it, but the telemedicine community, I've got fed up seeing this slide because I show this. I happened to be in Ansport Blair at the invitation of the then chief secretary. I had given a talk and a try from the time nothing happened. Later, I, I got a phone call from Ken, but attended my talk. He said, sir, there's an unconscious patient now. There's no doctor here. You, you told us about telemedicine. Can you do something now? I said, do you have a camera? He said, yes. In 2002, it was no smartphones. Nothing was there at that time. I said, okay, do this. Just take a photograph. Uh, you have an x-ray lobby. He said, yes. I said, you put the CT scan, take a photograph and send it to me in my house. And I, the internet connectivity was very poor those days. And then I told him, uh, get the camera. There's no mobile video in phones those days. And just take a photograph of the pupil. And I just want to see the pupil. And I did a re reasonable enough neurological examination from my house with the help of a CT scan technician. And I was very confident. I've treated thousands of these people. So you can see a small isolated hemorrhagic, con uh, te sorry, mm -hmm. temporal lobe contusion. The ventricles are complex, narrow, raised intracranial pressure. Finally, our MBBS student, in my opinion, those days should be able to diagnose this. So this is how it was. So I just said, okay, start on mannitol, anti-convulsants, etc. I managed the patient from my house, an unconscious patient. So the most rewarding moments of my life in half a About two months later, somebody comes to my office with uh, about 18 apples, beautiful apples, and then says, I said, I don't know who you are, sorry. Then he said, sir, I was told that you are the doctor from Madras who, who treated. I was in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So I was absolutely normal. It took me six, seven minutes of my time with I mean, nothing great about it. Any young neurosurgeon, any postgraduate neurosurgeon should have handled this case. 
did was a camera, a fork, and to take this. I have personally given about it. And one of the things which I did not do, I just didn't have time, and there's nobody to help me here. Sorry, I should have got a. Uh, audio this was a mistake but i didn't realize it till in 2001 when the world did not know anything about tele from the village of aroganda we had transmitted more than 200 echoes thanks to a wonderful pediatric cardiologist who unfortunately left us who is sitting here prem kumar he had just come back from the uk and he supervised A cardiogram from us, and we did this. We did 200 echo. I just didn't. Either he or I had. If I had been in the U.S., I would probably have written a textbook on tele echo cardiography. So this was what we did, but we just didn't have the resources, the infrastructure, or the time to do all this.